and welcome along and welcome to this mod spotlight on the Ford 10 Series 3 Tractor for Farming Simulator 22. This mod is by John Deere 2450 and it's based on the Ford 6810 tractor mod that Matt XJS did for Farming Simulator 19 for the mod contest on that. Uh, it includes two models of the 10 series tractor. We've got the smaller version here. This goes from a 5110 all the way up to a 7610. Uh, and then over here, we've got the 7810, uh, which includes the 7810 engine and the 7810 turbo conversion and also includes the Silver Jubilee anniversary paint job as well, uh, which is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I have been following the development of this mod on Facebook for quite a while. I am so excited to see this in the game as it is one of my all-time favorite models of tractor. So it's just brilliant. I am so, so pleased to see uh, a nice full set of four 10 series tractors uh, in the game. So uh, shall we go and take a look at the mods themselves and see what our options are? So first up, we have the Ford 10 series three. We've got a variety of wheel brands on this. We've got the Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT and Verdestein. We have a variety of wheel setups across these brands as well. We've got Standard, Standard 2 and Standard 3. Wide tyres and wide tyres 2. Flotation tyres, Flotation tyres 2. Rear twin wheels, rear twin wheels 2 and rear twin wheels 3. Narrow tyres, narrow tyres 2 and narrow tires three. So a lot of wheel options available on this tractor uh, with and without mud guards. Uh, we have many beacon options. So if we come around to the back of the tractor so we can see these more clearly, uh, we've got no beacons, a left beacon, a right beacon, both beacons, and then a second choice of beacon on the left, on the right, and both of them as well. We also have multiple exhaust options on this as well. So we've got the original, we've got a no muffler, and we've got the stainless steel no muffler. We've got a variety of extra work lights. So we've got the original, we've got front work lights that you can see up the top here. And then we've also got rear work lights here. And you, of course, can have both applied as well. We've got a variety of attachers at the front. So you've got no weight at all. An 80 kilogram weight, a 200, 202, 280, 360, 440, 520, and a 600 kilogram weight option. You also have options of front loaders. Uh, so we've got no front loader attacher, uh, the quickie attacher, the horror attacher, and then the MP lift attacher. Now, I don't know if there's actually a front loader out there for this yet, um, but uh, I, I need to go and check the mod hub. But it looks like we might be getting something extra if there's not already uh, a front loader for this out there at the moment. And should also point out that the front loader attacher is where the design color comes in as well. So the design color changes the color of these front loader attachers. Uh, as far as I can tell, it has no other effect on this tractor. Then we also have the engine setup. Uh, we got, as I said, the 5110, the 5610, the 6410, the 6810, and the 7610. Finally, we have license placed options on here as well. Uh, we've got the choice of uh, front and back. So uh, front one appears there, rear one appears there. And of course, if you choose to only have it on the back, uh, then it disappears off the front grille here. You can have no plate as well, of course, in which case you get no plate on the front or the back. So there we have it. That is the first tractor. Applying all of the most expensive options on this uh, takes our £38,000 base price up by an extra 17000 to 55000 All in all, I think this is a really, really good tractor uh, price-wise. If you're doing start from scratch, 
for to have all the most expensive stuff on here and get 105 horsepower out of it for 55,000 that's really good the second tractor in the pack is the 7810 series 3 this comes in two configurations we've got the original and the silver jubilee uh, which as i said earlier is a really lovely paint job we also have a variety of tire brands on this we've got trelleborg michelin continental mitus bkt and verdestein multiple wheel setups again we've got standard wide tires flotation tires rear twin wheels twin wheels and narrow tires uh, we've got multiple beacon options again so we've got the left the right and both and then the second version, left, right, and both. Exhaust, just like its baby brother, we have original, no muffler, and the no muffler stainless steel version. We have the extra work lights again as well. So original, front, rear, and both. We have choice of mud guards, no and yes. We have a variety of front weights, so 0, uh, 80 kilograms, 200 kilograms, second version of the 200 kilograms with the front attacher, 280 kilograms, 360 kilograms, 440 kilograms, 520 kilograms, and 600 kilograms. We also have a choice of front loader attachers on this as well. So uh, we again, we've got the Quickie, the Hoor, and the MP lift. And then engine setups, we have the 7810 and the 7810 turbo conversion. Finally, as before, with the front loader attacher, you can change the design color of that to be different as well if you want. License plate, like again, like its baby brother, is no plate, front and back and back only. So if we go and put all of the most expensive options on this tractor as well, that takes the price of this tractor up by 28,000 from a base price of 44,000, you are then paying 72,000 for a 136 horsepower tractor again not a bad price especially considering that you've got all the most expensive things on here and under 50,000 or a tractor that starts at 105 horsepower again really really good starting tractor I love how much this can bring to a game where you're starting with some very low amount of money and you can uh, you can bring these tractors in and get some really good workhorses on your farm. So there we go. There are the details of the two models of tractor that are included in this mod. This is an absolutely brilliant mod. I could not be happier to see these tractors in the game. And if we have a quick look at the actual models themselves, uh, this is based on Max XJS's original model and you can see his modeling is absolutely amazing and john deere 2450 has done a wonderful job of bringing these over to farming simulator 22 uh, and also upscaling it into the 7810 i've seen so many bad conversions of the original 6810 that just did such a, a horrible <laughs> Uh, piece of work trying to upscale it to the 7810 and this is just looking utterly utterly gorgeous uh, and to include the silver jubilee version again such a beautiful version of this tractor uh, i am going to just jump in quickly and give you a sound of the engines i had originally thought that the engine sounds were different between the muffled and unmuffled versions but i'm not so sure on that anymore to be honest giving it a few revs you can hear the engine on that uh really really nice if we jump in to the silver jubilee and just compare that I'm not actually sure there's any difference between these t those two. I had originally thought that was the case, but I'm not so sure on that anymore. The difference absolutely is, though, when we jump in this.
That is a slight, that is definitely a different engine sound. So I'm, I'm very pleased to hear uh, two different sets of engines on there. Seeing these tractors like this, this really takes me back. Uh, I love this mod. It has been released on the mod hub for PC and Mac. Of course, it's a Ford tractor. So uh, it's not going to get released like this for Farming Simulator 22 on console. However, uh, there was talk a little while ago about a possible Lizard release of this tractor. I don't know how likely that still is. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that you guys on console might eventually get to experience the awesomeness of this mod. But uh, for now, yes, it is a PC and Mac only. So go download it. Go give it five stars. Uh, I am certainly going to be doing that straight after this video. And uh, yeah. It's awesome. Go grab it. Awesome work at John Deere 2450 and fantastic work at Matt XJS. I look forward to using this mod a lot. And with that, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.